this is a segmented arch meaning this is not bent laminations this is pieces that are joined together at an angle which form an arch and then we cut out that arch with a jigsaw or router or trammel whatever technique you want to use but before you can do any of that you have to determine um, the radius of your arch but then also the angles of your cuts so that you can make these wider pieces uh, conform to what your end result uh, desire is so I like to have a splice in the center that helps so that whenever I'm lining up this side of the arch and this side of the arch I can use this center splice as a reference point so you'll see that as I walk you through on SketchUp I like to start with that splice in the center from there how many pieces we have is determined by what's required on the width of the board and then also what's going to look good to make the grain sweep across this thing we wouldn't want to use a 1 by 12 and only have two pieces or three pieces because the grain then would be very choppy and that wouldn't look good so we want to find that balance um, having enough pieces but not doing too much work having too many pieces because all of these pieces are joined together with dominoes and that does take time and all that so typically the size of rooms that I'm working with I end up with about five segments on these arches and in, on this arch in each half I have five pieces so here's a splice 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 and that works pretty well for wrapping that grain around there so at this point I'll hop over to the computer and show you how to lay All right, it out. So the in first SketchUp. thing that you're going to see here is the layout of my room and the design of the truss that I'm going to be doing. Um, this is uh, pretty close measurements, but it's not perfect. I like to make all my beams long and cut them on site. You'll see as I'm drawing in here, this arch beam is actually going to sit on two beams that are sticking out. But I'm going to go ahead and make the arch a little bit long. That way it bends around real nice. And then I'll cut the, that 8 inches or so off on site. So then the first thing I'm going to need to do is to copy my arch. Um, so I'm going to select all those pieces. I'm going to hit Control M for move. And then I'm going to move this arch or a copy of it over to the other side of the, the uh, model. So I'll get this situated over here and then that'll be done. So at this point you see what I've already modeled up and built. Um, did this a couple days ago. Um, so I'm going to show you how to draw what is here right now. You'll see the uh, 10 segments in this arch. We'll go ahead and start laying that out. The first thing we're going to need is the radius and SketchUp is great because it plots that point automatically like you just saw. So I've got my line there that represents the eight, the radius for that inner circle. I'm going to go ahead and um, snap that up a little bit. Now I'm going to divide this arch into segments. So I right clicked and I hit divide. Um, so then as you stretch it out, it'll, as you move your mouse, it'll give you more or less segments. So I chose five. Now I can start drawing lines from the ends of those segments down to the center of my radius and that is going to tell me where all my segments are going to be and what the angle is and what the length is of each of those segments. What I'm going to do now is make this oh, that I have drawn into a component that way I can actually draw over the top of it. Um, that'll make so whenever I draw my 1x10s over the top they won't interfere with the lines that I already have on there and it'll make it easier to work with. Now that I've got this made into a component, the next step is to lay out uh, what will be the segments of my board over the top of this arch. 
So I'm going to draw a line through the center of the segment and then I'm going to branch out with some perpendicular lines to that. Then I want to make uh, make this the actual width of what my board will be. So this will be a 1 by 10. So I'm making these uh, 4 and 5 eighths off of that center line. Then after that I want to see uh, how my lines work out because I want this arch to be nicely centered on my board for whenever I cut it out. Um, so you'll see me moving that around now. You'll see on here that I didn't quite have it centered um, so I'm going to go ahead and move this segment and adjust it just a little bit. That way it'll be perfectly centered on the part that I need to cut out and I won't have any really thin areas um, that might be a problem with layout. The next step is going to be to make that segment into a component and then we'll start moving and copying it. So I just select it hit M control to copy it. I'm going to grab the corner and move it over and align it with the next corner. Uh, hit Q and that is going to rotate it. So I just select that point Q, rotate it down and repeat that process over and over again until I have this segment going all the way around the arch. As I hide it you can see that that is what I'll actually be building. A bunch of 1x10s joined together and that will make the arch. I'm going to go ahead and run a line across the bottom and put a horizontal cut on the end of this beam since it's going to be sitting on another beam. Having that flat cut on there will actually make it uh, easier to work with as it will hold itself up in the shop better uh, and just have more surface area to stand. Now we'll start laying out our measurements and angles. So I'm just going to hit D for the dimensioning tool and start pulling these. Uh, I'm going to make sure that they're all the same and I did everything right and uh, then I'll also get the angles as well. So I'm going to hit L and draw a line perpendicular to the outside edge of my board. Then I'm going to go over and hit the protractor tool and if you look at the bottom left of the screen that's going to tell me what my cut angle is which I believe is 6.6 .6 degrees so that tells you exactly what you need to set your miter saw to to make the cut on all of these boards. So I went ahead and uh, typed in the angle there. That way I can print it off and take it out to the shop. Now I'm going to get the bottom angle here. That way I can also cut the ends on the miter saw as well. I'll go up here and pull a couple more measurements and then this will be ready to print off. I can take it out to the shop and actually build off of it. The other really important thing that SketchUp allows me to do besides giving me the angle and the length of these pieces is that once I have my segmented arch assembled, I need to plot that curve accurately on the workpiece. And there's pretty much two ways of doing that. Either you'd use a router with a trammel or some kind of cutting device with a trammel or the way I do it is I plot points every four inches and then bend a thin piece uh, around the arch, pinning it on there and then use a flush trimming bit in my router to get a really nice curve on that. And SketchUp makes that super easy. So I'll walk you through that process also. Um, some people ask me, well, why don't you use a router and a trammel? For this arch right here, it would have taken about an 11 foot trammel. And this, and that's only because this is almost a half circle. It's a very steep arch. But the more shallow your arch is, the longer that that trammel needs to be. And with a lot of the ceilings that I do, that would require a 16, maybe even a 20 foot trammel in order to to do that arch with a router. So on small stuff, a trammel may be ideal. On this size of stuff, a trammel just doesn't work. So that's why I use the method of plotting points every four inches. So here we are back in SketchUp. The first thing I'm gonna to do to uh, get this layout to plot my points on this arch is to draw my center line down uh, all the way to the horizontal area there at the bottom of the beam. Then I'm going to go ahead and select that line. 
I'm going to hit M, Control, and move it over four inches. I'm going to do this twice to show you. To get my 25 lines that I need, all I've got to do is move it over once, M, Control, four inches. So M, Control, four, that's going to move it over. Then the asterisk key, 25, right after that, and that'll multiply it 25 times. So using that asterisk key, which is on the eight, uh, is a really quick way to multiply those lines in one shot and works really well. So now all I'm gonna do is start uh, pulling my dimensions uh, from the bottom of the arch, and that will tell me every four inches what measurement I need to mark on my board uh, in order to uh, get this really nice sweeping arch. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below.